What is up guys? My name's The Simian. My name is Yen. I play The Sims. Did you see what I did there in other simulation games? Anyway guys, first and foremost, I want to say thank you guys so much because we did hit 5k. If you guys look at my previous video, which is titled, um, Reading Your Unpopular Opinions About The Sims 4, I am doing a giveaway. All you have to do is literally comment down below on that video and be subscribed. It is for console and PC. So please, please, please go, subs um, go subscribe and comment down below because I want you guys to win something. Anyway guys, so we all remember that when EA dropped this whole article stating you know the sims policy on mods of course there was a lot of things going on because of doxing in the community and a lot of people were just being not you know completely honest with their work so cc and mod creators were limited and they mentioned that you know there was a lot of things that they had to abide by now and it was very like wormhole kind of because not a lot of people were being like, okay, this is not specific enough. Now, by the name of Marlon Sims, actually ended up DMing EA and asked, also to clarify one more time, modders can no longer earn money by doing early access content for testing purposes. I hope EA put out the statement. And he's like, yes, you are right. Early access is not allowed for modders. What? Guys, we are going to get to my opinion in just a second. But he goes to respond and say, okay, thank you. Will EA be marking this statement pu publicly? It would help clear up a lot of confusion. What is up with these dot, dot, dots? Because I'm going to need the whole, I'm going to need all the screenshots. Come on, Mar I'm going to need all the screenshots. I need to know what else was happening, what else was said. Because, guys, this is tea. There is so much to talk about with this because this could change so much in the community. I mean, guys okay really quick let's break it down because we all know that cc and mods make such a difference in the game there's even a lot of people who won't even play the game if it is just straight up vanilla so what that means is not only are people going to be limited to what they can play also modders and cc creators are going to be limited on the way they present their stuff so I'm kind of curious about what kind of services are they going to now provide because now we do know there's a lot of big paywalls that a lot of CC and modern creators do to use. And although I personally do not agree on a paywall, I just feel like it's kind of messed up. They shouldn't be doing that. Do I think there should be early access? Absolutely, because at the end of the day, a lot of these CC and mod creators spend their hard-earned time working and doing things. Now, I do think early access... Mm, it, okay, it's, it's a slippery slope with early access because it's like how long is early access you know what I'm saying sometimes people drag it now really quick before we go back into my opinion I do want to note that you guys can always go check out Marlon Sims tumblr down below the link will be down so you guys can also view everything I also went into the sims to actually see if anybody was making a statement for the sims 4 but nobody has now I really don't think the sims is going to actually come out with a statement we do know the latest statement that they did have had to do with the update on high school years because of all the backlash it received from the new update i mean to the point where it broke base game everyone saw it coming well i wouldn't say coming but i mean let's be real is the sims who if you didn't see it coming i would actually be completely surprised but at the same time it's like come on now let's put two and two together guys i did go on to a lot of the sim gurus to see maybe if they said something maybe they responded back to some of the, you know anybody because guys we're gonna get to a lot of people's tweets later but people were going at this like a lot of people found out about this and was not happy at all and of course y'all already know i don't even know why i even tried but lindsey pearson of course didn't say anything we all know the only time she says something is when something is super super controversial or when it's like the biggest pack of all time now i did end up scrolling on some of your responses from this and i was just like shook so someone by the name of kowari plays said i'm sorry but i don't know why people are quitting their jobs to make cc and mods because literally ea could announce the sims 5 or the company that is going to buy them could have been the ones to change the policy like this is not something that could go on forever like something was going to happen Mmm, that is a very interesting point. Let me know down below in the comments what do you guys think of this tweet. And I'm going to read a couple of more just because some of these replies were very, very interesting. And I was like, what? And we're going to get to my opinion in a minute. Now, I ain't going to lie. This one had me a little shook by the name of Sim Ar Ar Architecture. Um, said, I wouldn't be surprised if someday EA states that Sim YouTubers are not allowed anymore to monetize their video. That's probably the next step. And then, at Sir D. Maser... Maserdi said they'd never do this. YouTube is a different ball game. YouTubers have far more influence and reach than mods and CC creators, mainly because they have a larger platform and voice. Not to mention they are useful to EA in terms of promoting and marketing. Now this one took a little toll on me, y'all, because y'all already know I do YouTube. So I was 
was like, they wouldn't dare. Now, they're also going to be messing with YouTube's terms of service. So, I feel like if EA was to do that, they would actually have to, like, figure that out with whole YouTube situation. That would be insane if they copyrighted this stuff. That would be crazy. Anyway, guys, so someone by the name of Jada5391313. Girl. Honestly, I agree. It's not fair to EA that people are charging others for mods over a game EA created. I think donations are helpful and show a way of genuine appreciation. However, charging people for our creations and being greedy and taking advantage, it's just not fair to EA. And this, I have to understand where she's coming from. I mean, guys, I mean, the y'all look. Let's be real. Again, I'm going to get to my opinion in just a second. I want to go over one more tweet with you guys by the name of at Blue in Texas 2 stated mods and cc's they are made to use in the sims 4 belong to ea under their tos mods and cc must also be made available free of charge to all users of the sims 4. this isn't new but it hasn't been enforced often leading some to feel modders own their own their own mods and cc's and can charge money for it now I mean, low-key, it's always been in the terms of service, apparently. Apparently, this is something that's not new, and it's always been there. Now, let's get into my opinion. Personally, I feel like early access is fine to me. Couple weeks, okay, I get it, because at the end of the day, you work really hard. CCs and modders, I totally understand. They work really hard for this stuff, and it's actually really confusing. If you try, if you ever try to make some CCs and mods, y'all, it's, it's, it's a lot, and sometimes they make a really big difference in the game. They work hard at what they did, so they deserve payment, especially something that changes the game completely. But permanently keeping it behind a paywall is, you know, it's a slippery slope because it's messing with EA's terms of service, and honestly, it's a dangerous game to be playing because who got time to be getting sued? Do, is it really that deep? Is it really that deep to the, to the point where you want to get sued? And it's true. It's literally, you have to think of it from a company's perspective. It's not about being right or wrong. It's about a company's perspective of being like, you're still leeching off of my game. What are you doing? Especially people that are using doxing, especially people that are using crazy ass mods, you know, that involve really disgusting stuff that I really don't want to talk about on here, but you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, and then, look, let's be honest, some of the biggest mods we all know and love, I know are completely free. So... I don't feel like what's like where's the excuse y'all let me know down below in the comments how you guys feel about that because at the end of the day i do see why a lot of people are mad but honestly i don't I, although i care for the people and what they have to say i'm really more curious to hear what do ccn modders think who is a ccn modder please add them and let them know comment down below because i am actually genuinely curious to what is your viewpoint on this how do you guys feel about this because although we are talking from like a community's perspective from people who actually download season mods from people who make it how do y'all personally feel and if you guys know anyone that's literally speaking out about the situation comment down below and please let me know what they're saying because or like what the link or someone I can look at to see what they're saying because I think it's really interesting to hear their perspective and their point of view on it and what they decided to do now someone did mention in my um, latest video actually apparently um, simplicity now do not get me uh, you know, don't take my word for it. I haven't looked it up completely, but apparently Simplicity's Patreon content is now free. So I don't know if that's true or not. I haven't looked, but if CC and modders are getting nervous and like starting to free up their content, what could this mean for The Sims 4? What could this mean for the CCs and modern creators? Are people just not going to donate because at the end of the day their stuff is free? Or is it going to make people actually maybe even donate more because they know that they're not allowed to charge? So since they're not allowed to charge, maybe more people will feel maybe a little bit more guilty because they know like the time and effort they're spending into this. I also do feel like EA and Maxis are being very... I don't want to bring Maxis into this. I want to say EA... What they're doing is they know that people rely on CCs and mods, a, lot, a big part of the community. I'm not speaking for console. Console, I feel you on this. Y'all are probably watching this like middle fingers in the air. I don't care. I feel you. I totally feel you, okay? But look, I'm, t I'm f to my PC players, you guys know this makes a huge difference in the game. You know it does. It, like, and, I, and, I, and I know it does because literally coming from console to PC at the beginning of this year, I mention this all the time because I want to express how much of a difference it genuinely made in my game. I feel like by putting a paywall on things, yes, it's messing with, you know, EA's terms of service, but I also feel like they're being slick in a way of they want modders and CC creators to work for free. They know that they are literally cutting their slack. They know that they're doing stuff for them. They, at the end of the day, a lot of times when EA drops a, or in Max's drop a pack or the Sims 4 franchise, whoever you guys want to call out, when they drop a pack, they know a lot of times CC and mod creators are one, going to fix it, two, add more to it, or three, do something different to the point where we like that version more 
more than the actual game that they brought themselves. So I don't know. I feel like it's a really slippery slope with EA doing this. And I don't know. What do you guys feel about this? Comment down below how you guys generally feel about this. And again, please let me know if you guys have heard any other CCN mod creators talking about this and what their situation and how they stand and you know their opinions on it. Because I, as much as I care about what the people have to say, I'm also really curious about what the CCN modders have to say. Because at the end of the day, this is hitting them more than it's hitting us. But at the end of the day, will they stop doing it? because they're not getting paid for it or because they made this a career a lot of ccm mod creators made this a living they made a living off their patreon so what's gonna happen now do you see what i'm saying are they gonna just stop or is this a slippery slope or is ea at one point gonna just be like you know what f it no mods in general you know does it do you guys think that it has to do with like the doxing do you guys think it has to, i do think it has to do with doxing with people putting trackers and stuff which is not okay and i do think it has to do with people using really gross mods um making gross mods and like having you know get, getting it put out there but a part of me also really does feel like it has more to do with people not being able to enjoy the game completely because a lot of cc creators are putting their stuff behind a paywall and ea wants everyone to be obsessed with the sims and ea wants everyone to enjoy the sims so ea is like mm, drop it you know i don't know it could be a mixture of both i don't know y'all let me know down below in the comments what y'all think because guys the tea is boiling hot when it comes down to the sims right now i mean left from right there has been news dropping after news after news after news and i'm just trying to keep it up with it all, okay because i post one today so if there's only but so much information i could post before i find out something new and then i gotta make another video Anyway, guys, let's pray and hope this patch update is coming soon because I really, really, really want to do this LP that I did for you guys. If you guys haven't checked out my new recent LP of me doing the Creative Sims, I'll link it down below. But that video is coming out very, very soon um, of the of the very first episode for high school years. Um, and then also, again, guys, go check out my last video and comment under it with the unpopular opinions because I really want to express that. I really want to give back to you guys. Thank you all so much for 5K. I really appreciate it, and I'm doing a giveaway. It'll be up until this Friday so y'all got time so go 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 comment on that other video but anyway guys i'll see you guys on the next video bye